Hello, Internet. Now you're probably wondering, what now? You just showed us that Dead or Alive Extreme 2 video. Ugh, that game, and some of you are probably like, oh, that game's so disgusting. How dare they do that? It's like, it's like softcore porn, not even the good kind. <laughs> it's just, ew. Yeah, you gotta understand that game was in 2006. So, it was a different time. So, some of you are probably wondering, well, what game here are we doing next? Well, it's a game that actually has a disc to it, believe it or not. And, uh, it's not going to be any more Gears of War games because I haven't completed the others because it would be kind of. Well, dumb to, you know, do the others before I complete the first, because what type of logic does that make? So, I'm going to press the back button, and you're about to see what we're about to play. Yep, some Sanic Forces, since it is, well, at least it was my most popular video of all time. It's number two at the moment. We might as well do it. So the thing about this game is it doesn't have like an, an epic CGI opening like some of the others. You know, like your Sh like Shadow of the Hedgehog, Sonic Heroes, Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2. It doesn't have that, which I thought was it. I also love the Sonic Riders. Or Sonic Riders Zero Gravity or any of the others. So I find that strange, but whatever. So, if you pre-ordered this game, or if you get the bonus edition, you get Episode Shadow. What Episode Shadow is, is basically, you get to play a Shadow for a few, it's like a semi, it's like a little prequel to Sonic Forces of what happens before the game starts. I don't know if I should start a new game or continue from where I was. You know what? We need to explain this plot. Good thing we got cutscenes. Let's just play a couple of these, that way it'll explain what this plot's all about. That way I won't have to play the game again in order to do it again. So from that cut, so you can tell Eggman, he's just like, okay, Sonic, I'm sick of this little blue hedgehog always getting in the way of my plans. I'm going to use this dude, Infinite, to basically destroy him and take over the world. That is what the plot is. And then here is where, um, you know, it happens. Sonic gets beaten up. Also, you notice there are no human, no human civilians. So that's a plus. So people have been complaining, like, oh my gosh, I hate all these humans in the game. I hate how they portray Tails in this. They portray him as such a wimp. Like, like such a loser. Like, it's. I'm like, wow, did you forget about the other games? Yeah, yeah. So the whole gimmick is Zava, Shadow, Chaos, and Metal Sonic. The gimmick was like, oh, we're all we're all come together to to destroy you. Although like it's clear those four villains are just basically um, they're not even real, more or less. You can see them like. Like flickering, that, that way it shows you that they're not legit. Oh, 
Well, duh. Tails didn't even do anything. You are a horrible friend. How about you do something instead of just stand in the background? And you thought Tails couldn't get any more useless. Nope, this game proved me wrong. There's another cutscene. There's our, my, my boy Vector and the rest of the, the crew. And there's Silver! So this game automatically gets a, a few points from me. Although him being in the game kind of doesn't add up, but whatever. It's the anniversary title. Technically. Tails has just become just... Well... Where's Big the Cat when you need him? He would save the world. We should have got some Big the Cat DLC. Come on, Sega! I know Big the Cat's in Team Sonic Racing, but at least put him in the next main game. So yeah, this is where you create your OC. You know, the character that um, you create in order to, you know, stop the resistance. And here's Knuckles, the leader of the resistance, so good for Knuckles. I mean, Knuckles is cool, but he doesn't scream being a leader. Granted, neither does Raphael, yet he's gonna be the leader in the new Ninja Turtles series, so... What do I know? There's my, uh, OC right here. He's looking... He looks very... He looks very edgy, as you, as you can see, with his gamer hat and his... So, yeah. Look at all the cutscenes we're gonna be... Oh wait, there's this one that really gets under my skin. This one. So, oh, poor Omega. See, this really pisses me off. Like, did you forget that Sonic Adventure happened? I'm pretty sure Tails, he may have beaten Chaos before. And then there's the twist. The, so the classic Sonic, who really shouldn't have been in the game, honestly, just felt like an add-on. Sonic Mania explains how he got here, because the games are linked. Why else would he be there? To destroy the world? Because no, that would have been more interesting. Alright, that's enough cutscenes. You've basically seen enough of like what the main plot is and some of my little grievances. And also Infinite is a really, really, really dumb villain because he doesn't want to, you know, kill Sonic because I'm pretty sure the problem with these villains, like they don't go all the way with their plans. They don't get rid of the competition. They don't get rid of the problem. I don't know why none of these villains do that, but So yeah, also you can now play Super Sonic and Sanic t-shirts. These were like downloadable items that once cost money, but then they decided to go to the free route, which is nice. They got my Sanic t-shirts. So yeah, this is so... See right here, a lot of stages. I've dominated most of these stages. Some of these will accept this. Oh no. Oh, I hate that. I hate that level so much. So, yeah. 
You get stuff for your avatar, stuff for your mission. It's not a long game. I mean, it's not a particularly a hard game either. See, so yeah, I like boss battles and whatnot. I don't know where to start. Uh, where's stage one at? Ah. So when you collect 50 rings, you turn to Supersonic. So yeah, once you complete the game more or less, you get Sonic, Shadow, or Supersonic. Let's just do Supersonic, because I've never done Supersonic before. So let's do this, once it loads. See, there we go. Now we're Supersonic. while you don't have to run anymore. So now you can do this and just murder everyone. Just ignore that in the background, it's just uh, annoying. I'm honestly not sure why there's sand everywhere. There might have been a reason. Maybe it's just infinite being infinite. Complete a mission, you get special stuff for your avatar or your OC. You get like gloves, shoes. See, so that's how it works. What are, what are the missions? Oh, there's a daily activities. So you can just do all these, like all this. It's not a big deal. Gosh, there's a lot. Let's go to our the avatar. That's me. So yeah, another thing this game has is Wispin. It's basically your own little weapon. You have like, you know, cube, lightning, cube, drill, lightning. So yeah, you have different Wispins that you can use. The one I'm using is lightning because it's actually... Of all these, it's to me it's the most useful. And in the fitting room, this is where you can pick all your stuff. And so all the Sonic and Deviant artists can live out their dreams by making a Sonic character. So yeah, you can either choose like all these gloves or have no gloves, which is not right at all, considering kind of goes against the the canon, but whatever. 
That's how this game wants to do it. Look at that! Let's just... Look at that. Perfection. Absolute perfection. That, that shirt. You got three of them. If you download it. But I'm gonna keep this because it looks better. So yeah, the more you unlock, the more cool stuff you can get. It's pretty simple. So, uh, so yeah, let's... Oh, those are some straight up Spider-Man shoes. So yeah. Let's go back. Let's just do another mission on our level. Let's do an extra mission, because I don't think I've done this before. Oh, you can only pick Sonic? Okay. The Flying Pod in Green Hill. Okay. Oh. Oh, hey! It's not cool. Well! That was wonderful! Crud. I, I, I went too fast. And I know that Sonic, like, gotta go fast, that's his whole gimmick. But, don't go so fast where you, you can't control your character, because that's obviously a bad thing. Right, oh, oh. This is going very poorly, as you see. Well, one. Dang it. Too much momentum. Let's try this one more time! If, it, if, I, if I don't succeed, then I'm just gonna quit. Oh, well, this is not going my way. Oh, that was the wrong button. No, it's... Nah, it's not really necessary. I mean, you can get some more stuff, but it's not super necessary. Since I already beat the game, technically, I beat the story mode. Like, there's extra stages, secret stages. What is the secret stage? I don't even know. That way it makes it more gamey and more, you know, useful. Oh, well, one. Oh. Oh, well. Jump, jump, there we go. Ooh, off. Oh. I thought I got it at the last minute. Crud. Oh. That talent did it in less than a minute. I don't know how good that was. Yeah, got that S rank. Time to get some rewards. All right. That's how some of these secret stages go. They have like certain gimmicks to them. I'm pretty sure we destroyed Eggman's team as of now, so. Before we do anything else, 
episode shadow. You're probably curious on what this is. Well, I already told you it's a prequel. But you're probably wondering how it works. There are three stages. And each of them, it shows you, like, how Shadow got into the situation, Sonic Forces, how Infinite was created. I forgot which one it was. Yeah, this is where... It, yeah, this is where it happened. So let's do it. So we're just gonna do this, and then it'll, that'll be all. Oh, my boy Shadow. So glad he's playable in a game again. Although, I would prefer... A, a Shadow the Hedgehog 2. Just saying, Sega. All you have to do to fix it is just make a better story, not have it be as long. But keep all the dark stuff, because it's hilarious. It made me laugh. Oh, crud. I have no more rings. That's no good. Loss is going on. Alright, let's do this. Let's get it. Yes. I got one of well, them. Now I have two of the five. Destroy them all. Really? Can't destroy this one? Oh. Oh, I missed it. Oh, whatever. It's Shadow, what did you expect? And I lost all my rings. Great. I don't think there's anyone left, Eggman. I'm just saying. At least at the moment, because you're still in the beginning part of the... of your big old plan. I don't even think he's created his plan yet. Oh yeah, look at that. We did it with no rings. That's talent right there. I don't know how well I did. Oh, I got a B. Oh wait, I want to see the cutscene. Crud, I wanted to see the cutscene. You know what, I'll just show you the cutscene. It should be on here. Better be on here. I mean, it's... Wait, I don't think it's on here. Oh, it's it's like the cutscene is just like it's just like like how infinite became infinite, how he had like the whole Jackal squad and Shadow just laid them all out and then Shadow called Infinite, "You're weak. Stay out of my sight." And the Infinite is like, "I'm not weak. I'm not weak." And I'm like, "Really?" That's how you became infinite? Because of that? That's pretty pathetic. He's like An he's literally like Anakin Skywalker from the prequels. He became evil because he whined a whole lot. <laughs> no, I'm just joking about that. Still. It's, it's dumb. But yeah, that's about it. That's all. We've basically done everything. We did some missions, some other stuff. Yeah, saw some cutscenes. Yeah, that is all. So make sure to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment, and also, quick question. Would you like to see a Sonic Forces 2? Or at least a Sonic game that continues the story? You know, uh, just let me know, you know, in the comments. Would you like to see a Sonic Forces 2? Alright, that is all, and I am out.